Hello, Pisces. You like Virgo. When it comes to friendships this month, your watery Pisces of fish nature finds camaraderie with the earthy sign of Virgo the Virgin. Keep in mind that Earth absorbs water, and this is for nourishment. Also, water is made fertile by Earth's minerals. Your potent days and nights are on the 16th and the 17th. Pisces, your insightful, otherworldly designs provide Virgo with inspiration for the Virgin's own creative endeavors. You'll also help Virgo to really generate numerous auspicious opportunities which will be quite apparent to you Pisces. This is due to your innately intuitive psychic abilities. On the other hand, Virgo provides you with a considerable gain in your riches, sure to come to you due to Virgo's real as you know, Virgo has a service to others modus operandi. Virgo has a real method of making sure other people are taken care of, and that's when it comes to human relationships. So that's going to be very good for you that Virgo does that for Pisces this month. On the 16th of the month, Pisces, your well-made plans to, to fashion a luxurious lifestyle after harvesting your profits will start to show new life. In addition, uh, this will sort of be a fantastic day to work with restorative or salubrious energies for yourself or others in need of regenerative or therapeutic modalities. Then, on the 17th, you'll be able to sustain reaping your rewards enabled by new systems, arrangements, and technology. Remember to pay close attention to the number of hours you are sacrificing to increase your bounty because you don't want to overexert yourself to the point where you can't truly enjoy your affluence. So keep that in mind. Also on the 17th, it's a good idea to travel, especially with your romantic interests or significant other. Terrific for spending a day together to reconnect in a very meaningful way. Your governing planets are Jupiter and Neptune. Your primary reigning planet, Jupiter, maintains her journey in the sign of Aries all month long, thereby revitalizing your plans to return to cultivating your tactics for gaining prosperity, which have proven to be successful for you. Jupiter goes retrograde on the 28th, which will cause you to go back and review your winning strategies. Be aware that Jupiter retrograde in Aries could cause you to consider some alterations in how you go about presenting yourself. So you might change that a little bit. You're appearance to self and others, okay? Nevertheless, don't let this type of reconsideration throw you off your game. Your second governing planet, Neptune, maintains her retrograde transit in your own domicile of Pisces, causing you to continue to want to delve into intriguingly rare spiritual subjects, the kind of obscure stuff, okay? Now, evoke your elemental archangel Gabriel to keep you true to your established methods. Call upon your planetary archangel Satchel of Jupiter and Asariel of Neptune to give you the inspirational dreams that will really, really sort of give you a lot of creativity. Now, invoke your zodiac angel Amnitziel to grant you accurate ways to interpret your visions.